Airports. They kind of suck, don't they? Well, actually, okay, maybe they don't necessarily. But you have to admit that they can be one of the most annoying and frustrating places. I mean, essentially, they're nothing but one big gigantic queue. You queue for the car park, you queue for the check-in, you queue at security, you queue at Starbucks, you queue getting on the plane, you queue getting off the plane, queue for the toilet, queue for the baggage, queue for the bus, and after all that, when you finish your trip, you turn around and you have to do it all over again. But what if I told you there was a way to cut down your waiting time? I know now with electronic check-ins and things, your things can be a bit quicker if you don't take baggage. But there's another way. Would you be interested? Sure you would. Imagine being able to skip all of those queues. Okay, okay, not all of them. Not even most of them, or some of them. But you can pay to cut the queue getting on the plane. Sounds pretty handy, but is it worth it? Hello and welcome to Well Actually. Today we are looking at priority boarding and asking the question, are they good value or are they a ripoff? A few weeks ago I went on a trip from here in Northern Ireland to Edinburgh in Scotland. And while spending most of the time queuing up, I had a lot of time to think about the airlines and flights and so forth. Today most airlines are offering what is known as priority boarding or easy boarding. This is where you essentially pay a bit extra to get into a different, shorter queue in order to get back in the plane quicker. In theory, this sounds like a good enough idea, but before we get into the details, let's look at the price difference. I went to various airlines websites and I found that there was a considerable jump in prices between the normal pass and this quick boarding pass. Some tickets cost up to £25 more, which is around $30, and that's for priority boarding. But what do you get for your money? One airline, for instance, added a small bag to your hand luggage and gave you these options. For anywhere between 12 and 20 pound, you get to sit in the front of the plane. No, not the cockpit. Anywhere between seven and 15 pound, you can sit at the wings, which, well, might be a good idea. If your plane crashes, you can be the first out. But apart from these perks, all you really get is a little bit up the line, which is not really good value for money, is it? Especially not for a short haul flight. You don't get anything else. You don't get better types of seats just a little more legroom, and generally before the flight, in the airport, priority boarders get a smaller pen for waiting in. That's if the airport has pens. On my trip to Scotland, roughly a quarter of the plane was priority boarding, but only about one eighth of the area was set up for priority boarding. The plane was fully booked, and we were on a Boeing 737-800, which has roughly between 192 to 195 seats. The priority pen only had a row of 10 or so seats, and that was between about 45 people. So if people had the aim to get on the plane first so they could be lazy, well, they weren't off to a good start. But the question is, how much time do you save by buying a priority ticket? Well, take an our Boeing 737, which is a fairly standard aircraft, so we'll use it as an example. My extensive search online, and timing my own experience, I figured it takes roughly 20 minutes for everyone to board the plane. So let's do some math. So if a quarter of the plane pay for priority tickets, the maximum time you save is 20 minutes if you're at the very, very, very front of the queue. And the minimum amount of time that you would save would be roughly about 15 minutes. But the second the priority boarders go through the gate, then the gate is open to all other passengers. Which means if you're at the back of the priority queue, the next person is only a couple of seconds behind you. And if the plane is boarding from both ends, chances are one of the non-priority boarders might get on first, especially as the people at the front of the queue tend to be the more pushy. So in reality, you're better saving your 20 pound and just arriving a little early at the gate and you'd get on just as fast. But there are more issues with the priority boarding. Say for instance, if everyone was in a rush and all pay for the priority boarding, well, there'd be no point, as the queue is just moved from one spot to the other. 
Now, to be fair, most airlines have a cap on the amount of priority customers, but this is still a potential issue. Another issue is the fact that priority boarding doesn't even get you on the plane first. There are a ton of other people who get preference. For instance, people with disability, frail old people, and people with young kids all get called on first, and rightly so. But if the people who need to get on first can get on first anyway, then apart from really, really tall people who need the legroom, who really needs to board first? If you think about it, the plane doesn't leave any quicker, so it doesn't actually speed you up. All you're paying for is the luxury of being a couple of seconds ahead of others and potentially getting another item of hand luggage. So, in conclusion, priority boarding is essentially only really for four types of people. It's only for lazy people, tall people, impatient people, or people with far too much money. Well, okay, I'm joking about most of these, but seriously, who needs priority boarding? On my flight, the people in priority boarding were all pretty young people when I was looking at them. So, if you're on a flight, just save your money and just buy the basic ticket. Unless, of course, your boss is paying. If you've ever bought a priority ticket, I'd be interested in hearing about your experience and whether or not you thought it was good value for money. Or if you have any interesting stories about flights you've been on, why not leave us a comment? I'd love to hear about them, and I might even write some of my own stories in the comments as well. I'd also just like to say thanks for watching, more videos like this are to come, and if you haven't already, why not subscribe? It would also be a big help if you would like to share this video on websites such as Reddit, Facebook, Twitter, etc, etc. Thanks again guys, and happy travels. Ah, <sighs> I really should have took the ferry. Wait a minute, why didn't I fly myself?